was a 3-0 victory on Tuesday to back up another big victory um, at the weekend and the dressing room must be buzzing at the moment. Yeah, I think the energy in the dressing room is obviously very good at the moment and like the gaffer said that the result on Tuesday in a way is better because obviously everything on Saturday was pretty much a perfect performance so I think backing it up was the most important thing and I think we pretty much done that to be honest, yeah. Yeah, and that's important, is it? Isn't it? Because when you have a big win, it maybe can be easy to take take your eye off it a little bit. Um, but like like you say, you back back that really well with another really good performance, and we need to take that into Saturday now. Yeah, I think one of the main things was just making sure we didn't get complacent. Like it's good being confident, but just make sure it doesn't turn into complacency. And I think we showed on Tuesday that far from complacent, I think the energy levels were still very good, and it was nice, yeah, to back up and get the win, yeah. The goals were all really well taken as well, weren't they, and spread, spread around across the team, so that's another real positive, isn't it? Yeah, I think um, me, Nora and Coca actually got a little goal competition going on, <laughs> and I'm currently losing. They've both got three, I've got two. But yeah, it's nice to see the boys score. I think just little stuff like that edges us on to like be more aggressive shooting. And also, yeah, Gus as well, <laughs> great finish. You won't stop talking about it, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> And yeah, it's just nice to see different people scoring, so it's a joint effort, team effort. Yeah. Yeah, and today the ju Junior Blues um, here at Roots Hall, um, how important is that to sort of meet the young, young supporters and bring them through into the next generation? Yeah, it's nice to, you know, like have a connection with the fans, especially the younger ones. Uh, you can see the smiles on their faces, which is always nice. So yeah, it's nice to have that connection, yeah. And we go to Bournemouth on Saturday, um, a team who it's always a very difficult game against and it'll be no, no different on Saturday, will it? Yeah, Borenwood, when you play them, you kind of know what you're about to get into. So we probably expect, we probably know what to expect. But yeah, they're a very good side. So we're obviously going to have to keep doing what we're doing and stay on our game to get a result. And uh, 950 uh, tickets sold for away fans already. So it's going to be one of our biggest followings for, for a while. And um, we saw it at Woking a few weeks ago. And how important is that following um, away from home? And how much does that spur you on? Yeah, no, honestly, our fans, they're amazing. Uh, they're literally our 12th man like uh, we're just grateful for the support they show and hopefully we can repay them on the pitch no um, I've been off for a month now <laughs> the form has been excellent since I've been away what is that down to why, why has it just been so good for the Blues it seems in the league certainly um, to be honest if if we're being honest I think um, the performances have kind of always been there it's just sometimes that uh, cutting edge hasn't sometimes been there in like the final third and finishing and now you're seeing that we're starting to put chances away so the scoreline is obviously better but I feel like the performances have kind of always been there or thereabouts so it's just nice to finally start putting the ball in the net more consistently. And I know nobody would want a transfer embargo and such a, a small squad but is that tight-knit squad quite good for morale just to be together? Yeah I think yeah, obviously no one wants to be in an embargo, but um, I mean, like, it does bring us obviously closer together because we obviously look around and we know this is all we got for the near future. So it's time to like, you have to all, we have to all step up together and we kind of know we're in this together. So we just keep fighting. Good luck in the search for the third. Thank you. <laughs> Cheers. Good Thank man. You. Thank you. You up really well with Bridgie quite a lot down the left hand side. Is that something that you, that's just evolved or that you sort of work on? You seem to do about three back heels a game to you. So is that something that you sort of enjoy? <laughs> <laughs> that's so funny you say that because um, I think it started evolving like last season and you could see little signs. And then obviously, because we're still playing together, we've had a season playing together, we know each other better. So that's kind of expected. The relationships obviously got stronger and yeah, no, me and Bridgie, we like playing with each other, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's something that's been spoken about before, yeah. And your competition for goal scoring, is there a forfeit? Is there a prize? What's on stake? You know, how serious is this? Yeah, just a small little depth, which <laughs> I'm currently losing. So <laughs> I need to get on it. <laughs>